things I wanted to ask is just how long you've been doing martial arts. Uh, let me just tell you that um, we're all gifted. We're born with it. We come out, you know. You notice a baby, when he comes out, he's already kicking and punching. Yeah, and he's already kicking. Yeah, it's, only, it's only when we die do we let it out, and there's no more K.I. Okay? But as long as you're coming out of the, ba uh, you, the womb, you already got this. It's just that now we get to be reprogrammed on where we're striking and kicking. Okay? So that part was al already initiated when I was born in there. But to, 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 to really compute it, you know, um, it came by just the, the circle of influence. You know, my dad, my mom, uh, whatever I saw, there was a striking techniques I was doing. And, and their background, sometimes when people see me doing my movements, you know, and why I call it one hop kundo, even if I have all the influence, it was because that my parents, we lived in, uh, on the island of Kauai when I, when I grew up. And this island of Kauai, we had camps. Um, what happened was my, my, my grandfather was an uh, uh, immigrant from the Philippines and my grandmother from Mongolia, so they met up there, so I had Chinese and Filipino art. So they would practice, you know. I never knew what it was, but I would see my, my, my granddad with, you know, working in the sugar cane field, banging and cutting with the bolo knife and everything, but every time in the morning, um, the, the group would practice outside in, the, in the, the, uh, an open field, practicing it, and I would pick the whole thing up and just kind of do it. And the movements that I do, it influenced me into do what I do today. So all my elbows and knees is basically influenced by the, uh, the Filipino martial arts. That's the background. Because when I did competition in, 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 in uh, uh, tournaments, and when I started to do my techniques, even the Kung Fu people would say, say, well, that's not, you know, I can see the Kung Fu part of it, but it's not, it's something else. Well, I didn't know. It's just something that was just uh, in me because I, I see the way that they move, you know. In the Filipino, you put a, put a glass in your hand, you practice this, and you come up like that. And, and it was, I was doing the whole thing, and I didn't know what I was doing, but it was all hits, the way that you move. Every movement you were doing was striking, no matter what, in or out, there was no gaps. And that became my philosophy, how you put inside the buzz saw, cut it, everything moving in, you see. Because my background, so when they say, you know, one hop can go, it, what is it when you're talking about it? It's a combination mixed martial arts. That's all it is, an expression. You know, there's another interpretation if you call it into, and I also explained to it, you call it a different name in, in uh, Mandarin, but the one hop yondo is a Chinese name of, uh, of, of what it is, like Cantonese, Cantonese way. Mandarin, I forgot how it's pronounced, you know, but it's the same, you know what I mean? So, so in that essence, when people ask me what I do, I says I do jazz. Period. That's all. Yeah, mm. very cool. Take anything you need. Any of these words are.